Welcome to the University of Manchester. Welcome to the School of Chemical Engineering and Analytical Science, one of a small group of elite chemical engineering departments in the UK, in the top 25 worldwide, and known as the birthplace of chemical engineering. Well, in chemical engineering, we're generally interested in controlling a particular process. This might be in a multi-million pound uh, petrochemical plant, it might be in a nuclear reaction, or indeed it might be related to the production of biopharmaceuticals uh, inside a living cell. The key thing is if you want to control a process, you have to understand it, and to understand the process, you need to do some kind of measurement. You need to know something about uh, what's happening in that dynamic process. The group are very good at problem solving. If you have a problem um, that involves measurement of something that uh, currently you can't measure at the moment, then uh, we will take that problem and uh, try and develop a new technology that will enable you to get that data and therefore understand and control the process. So my main research area is uh, looking at process monitoring and characterization uh, for the production of formulated products and their manufacture. Examples of these products are things like home care and personal care products, uh, foods and even chemical intermediates. So one of the main techniques that we use to look at these uh, types of manufacturing processes is process tomography. So process tomography allows you to look inside your pipes or vessels and produce a 3D picture of what is going on inside. So with a range of techniques you can look at things ranging from concentration to changes in structure. So I currently have several projects in this area with industrial partners such as Unilever and Johnson Mathy. I work uh, and my research group works in looking at how molecular materials impact upon everyday life. For example, you might have got up this morning and brushed your teeth, you might have taken a shower where you're washing your hair, the shampoo didn't just flow from the container but also foamed to the correct amount and also it smelt nice, it looked nice and it cleaned your hair. Understanding how molecules self-assemble onto different length scales impacts upon different areas of technology, all the way from energy through to biopharmaceutical and healthcare products. We look to work together with industrial partners to address certain challenges that they have. Bio-based products are chemicals that we get from microorganisms. So rather than getting uh, our chemicals from oil, we can get microorganisms that produce very similar chemicals that work in similar ways. One of the, the real challenges um, that we're, we're really addressing in developing these fermentation processes is cost. So at the moment, these bio-based products are much more expensive than the equivalent chemicals we get from oil. So the real key challenge is to develop these integrated and intelligent processes that allow us to reduce the cost of production. Our group is very multidisciplinary. We have academics from different backgrounds, such as chemical engineering, chemistry, physics and maths. This allows to tackle challenging problems from different perspectives. Examples of the work that we are doing include understanding the properties of graphene, but also how to formulate graphene into products like membranes for separations. We are also trying to understand and predict properties of complex systems that are relevant to the nuclear industry. The Chadwick pilot plant gives me the opportunity to teach and to research at industrially relevant scales. Behind me is a three-storey pilot plant, which we run in collaboration with oil and gas equipment supplier Cameron. Research is advancing the technology that's used to transport gas along deep sea pipelines from the well to the processing facility. The group has the goal of development of next generation industrial processes and to optimise current processes towards a more sustainable future. Overall, the research in process development and integration is a world-class research activity that transfers research through to industry and commerce worldwide. Process integration focuses on the design, optimization, operational optimization, and control of chemical and biochemical processes. The distinguishing feature of process integration is that it emphasizes a holistic approach to processes rather than concentrating on individual operations. Our research is concerned with how sustainable industrial systems are and how we can help them become more sustainable. 
In doing so, we look at the whole life cycle of products, technologies, or human activities. We specialize in different areas of sustainability, including sustainable production and consumption, life cycle sustainability assessment, and carbon footprinting. We foster multi- and transdisciplinary research in a creative and vibrant environment. New collaborators from cognate disciplines and new industrial partners are always welcome. Our research matters.